Catch Amazing Minds Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, 20 hours Central African time on YouTube, Google, Apple, and Spotify for podcasters. Zambia's first late night show. You're welcome to Amazing Mind, Zambia's first late night show. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe, hit that bell and share. This feels so rehearsed. Uh, you see that subscribe button there? Hit it and hit the bell as well. <laughs> you guys are welcome to the show, Zambia's first late night show. Mondays are the political segment of the show, Wednesdays are the educative segment, and Friday is Bible Talks. So if you have if you're new here, then that's kind of what we do here. And we are excited to have you here. Uh, so thankful to every new subscriber, every new viewer, everyone who is seeing the content for the first time. We hope that you enjoy this. And if you are here for the second time, we hope that the video you watched last time will not be as good as this one. Yeah, I'm here with Mr. Chofaya. Yeah. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, man. So good to be back. So good to be back. Feels like a long time, eh? Yeah. And yourself? Ah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm a blessed young man. I see. <laughs> <laughs> Always. <laughs> yeah. How were the holidays? The array of holidays. Yeah, quite eventful. Quite eventful. Yeah, Look at I that. can't complain. Yeah. If I tell you all about it, I'll have to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you did last summer. <laughs> yeah, good to see you. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while indeed. Nice Almost to begun you. to miss you. Oh, really? Yeah. I can't blame you. You missed me. I can't blame you. You missed me. <laughs> well, that's what you respond? That's how you respond? Yeah, I miss you more and whatnot. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how's family and everyone? Were you even around during this? Uh, yeah, no, I've spent fast. some time out of town. So. You are you are really very, you're a traveler. Yeah. I feel like every other week we are talking about how you are outside Lusaka. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's one of my hobbies. Okay. Uh at least for the distances, Munga Sorezi, Kitu, that I can yeah, afford. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was it, were you on your favorite? Uh, I was in Kitu. No, no, no. I uh, mean, how you moved there. I uh, remember last time you commended the guys that brought you back from. No, no, no. I went with some 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 aunties. We went with some oh, pri okay, private transport. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good. Good to see you. Nice to see you, man. You look well. I'm well. You are? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Are you yeah. ready for the show today? I am, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so we have some stuff lined up to discuss today on the show. But once again, please do subscribe, hit that bell and share. We're so delighted whenever we see your participation in the channel, uh, whatever you are able to do to help us with on the show, whether it's a like, a comment, a share, a subscription, hitting the bell, whatever you can do to participate. By the way, do comment. Tell us what you think about the show. Uh, if this is not your first show or if you're a regular here, tell us what you think. Tell us what you would like to hear us talk about. And we'll indulge you. We are very eager to do that, actually. Very much. That's very important. Yes. So um, on the show today, we'll discuss the cost of living, sees a slight reduction after a long time, and then we'll discuss... Uh, electricity tariffs and I fuel prices. I, don't, I know you don't like that the, the cost of living has seen a slight reduction. <laughs> Do you like it? Uh, not entirely because mm. of the particular items they talked about 
Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, that that's a reduction. Like, oh, if <laughs> apples reduce, then what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So after that, we'll talk about what. Uh, I'll, I'll respond to that. Yeah. When we start talking about it. Yeah, I'm I'm, ke- I'm eager to hear that. Okay. Yeah, then uh, we will discuss the electricity tariffs, which have, on the other hand, gone up, as well as fuel prices. And then former First Lady Esther Lungu finally speaks out. So, yeah, that's what we have for the show today. Subscribe, hit that bell and share. We have so much, so much, so much in store for you, and we're glad to have you here. Almost feel like you can see each and every one of you right now. You know, <laughs> have you ever thought about how... Mm. When we talk into the camera, we're kind of talking to imaginary people for a while. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, and, yeah, until we see ourselves on the screen later on, we're like, "Oh, that's how I was looking." <laughs> yeah. yeah, I always take it like I'm talking to people. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> Are you good at public speaking? Have you ever spoken in front of crowds? Ah, uh, yeah, I was in debate club in school. Oh yeah, 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 so, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, okay. I did a lot of debates in school, so yeah, I done my fair share. Do you that. suppose you would make for a good politician? Speaking at rallies. <laughs> yeah, that's, you're putting me on the spot. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. You don't, the, you don't, the, that was the, rhetorical. Okay. Yeah. That was rhetorical. Yeah, okay. I hear you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So JCTR gave us some figures on what the mm-hmm. cost of living looks like this month or rather this past month. Uh, as you know, we've been giving you updates on how the cost of living is ever increasing and month by month this month is 5000 next month is 7000 the other month is 9000 but surprisingly we have seen a slight decrease in fuel prices i don't know what we can attribute it to not fuel prices yeah sorry yeah. in uh, the cost of living ha huh? did i just say fuel prices i'm also wondering <laughs> Woo, that was a mistake <laughs> no we have not <laughs> seen a reduction in fuel prices. It's actually the opposite. Yeah, quite the opposite, actually. So we have seen a re- slight reduction in the cost of living, and uh, we have the JCTR explaining this to us. Take a look. The cost of living for a family of five, as measured by the BNNB, now stands at 10,348 kwacha, 0.08 ingwe for the month of April 2024, representing a 255 kwacha 14 ngwe reduction in the basket compared to March. The reduction in the basket was primarily attributed to lower charcoal prices, and it was observed that some, the price of some food items reduced, notably the price of vegetables and fruits such as apples and oranges. Yeah, so charcoal and fruits have gone down. Uh, I don't know how much of an effect that will have in terms of people's livelihoods. Mm-hmm. Maybe charcoal because load shedding. What do you think? Yeah, but also I'm thinking that, you know, the fact that it has gone down, of course, when we talk about market forces, we talk about demand and supply. Hmm. So it's also possible that now we have a lot of charcoal production, which is not good mm. for the environment, mm. which is causing the load shedding. Mm. So mm. it's possible mm. that now, since the demand is high, we have got a lot of supply as well. Yeah. Bypassing the demand. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't think entirely it's a good thing. Uh, it, it, the same can apply for apples. Maybe we have less people buying now. <laughs> because yeah. less people can afford them. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Now people are affording the basic things like Capenta and what. Although, of course, this is a BNNB. Oh, so. Capenta is actually expensive, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so if you say one cage of carpenter and one cage of chicken, definitely one cage of carpenter is more expensive. Yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Can you even buy one cage of chicken? That would have to be pieces or something? No, I'm just putting okay, like anyway, the, the weight. I, yeah, I understand. I understand. Yeah, because I mean, mm. if you if you have to eat carpenter as a family of five, it would be cheaper for you to eat uh, than to eat chicken as a family of five. So carpenter will be cheaper to eat mm-hmm. as a family of five than chicken would be? Yes. Won't it cost you one chicken to? Two. How many meals can a family of? How many times can a family of five eat from one chicken? I don't know that. Oh yeah, that's uh, a bit of a hard <laughs> question for us to answer. <laughs> Let us know in the comments how yeah. many times can a family of five mm. eat from one chicken? From on top of my head, I'm thinking twice. Twice? Yeah. How many pieces are in one chicken? Is about eight? Oh, ten? But, uh, I don't know. I must give the example of Nando's. When you go to Nando's, order a full chicken, uh-huh. they'll give you the option of cutting it into either eight or four pieces. Okay. But of course, they don't have some pieces. Yeah. So that's yeah. what I'm saying. It depends. 
Some yeah. people who pay that your manager and cook my job at business, you Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen people do really uh-huh. creative cutting with pieces of chicken. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Create a piece where there's no piece. Yeah. 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 So, anyway, we, we could be a bit uninformed on this, but uh, I'm very aware that uh, as much as carpenter could be more expensive than chicken, when it comes to when you weigh the two, I think that it it's more expensive to consume chicken. Most yeah. Of, yeah. It's it's actually very possible. I mean chicken is better mm. after all. Oh, is it? In taste. That is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Unless you're a carpenter person. I'm not really <laughs> a carpenter person. Actually, okay. growing up, I used to give the excuse that no, it makes my mouth <laughs> swell. <laughs> Who never did that in Zambia? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. For so, me, it was dry fish. Dry fish. Yeah. Ah, and okay. It's surprising I actually didn't really mind dry fish, except if it's boiled. But uh, I like boiled, the f- actually the boiled one. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know. It, it felt like a punishment. Yeah, but the way I love it right now, yeah, just like carpenter. Yeah, you eat carpenter when you want. As we keep growing up, yeah. we keep loving those foods. We, yeah, I hope all... it's not for health reasons. But yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it could be. Or it could also be that life you <laughs> man. Sub- subconsciously, you begin thinking like, ah, maybe I need to start eating healthier. <laughs> the order you're Cause growing. Cause no man. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, or yeah. maybe the effects. Oh, the, oh yeah, okay, I get you. I get you. You, you understand? Like it? as as the more that you grow. You start now thinking of oh now I'm nearing my death so you know, <laughs> I need to take care yeah, of. Yeah, I was my watching health. something recently. They were talking about how the organs of a human being mm. naturally, mm. if they are not sick or anything, mm. they last about 120 years. Mm-hmm. Like like a human being's organs just be, get tired by 120. The company needs to wind up. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why people in the 70s already, they can see some organ failures here and there. Yeah, plus there yeah. are a lot of things, our lifestyle and everything. Yeah. The processed food. The processed foods yeah. that we just had. And <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a joke. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just wanted to cough so bad, but I realized I can't do this here. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a joke. Yeah. yeah so uh, on the other hand, fuel and electricity have skyrocketed fuel prices as you can see here have uh, increased from 31 to 35 quacha um not adding the decimal points at the end of obviously mm. uh diesel has increased from 28 to 29 kerosene kerosene has increased this much yeah 38 percent almost 39 percent oh wow yeah. jet a1 has also increased mm. Ah, it's strange. Kerosene has always been the most consistent, most constant. Mm-hmm. Maybe load shedding. So people have bought color boys. Everyone is using kerosene now. Also, yeah. people use kerosene to light up braziers, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So that's probably why kerosene prices have gone up. Demand probably. Yeah. Also, I don't know if it could actually relate and it could have anything in relation to this, but kerosene has been very scarce. I don't know if you know that. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. Yeah, it's hard to just go and find kerosene. Yeah? Yeah. A long time ago, you can just go to any filling station. But now, there are very few filling stations. What other things do people use kerosene for? Is there any form of vehicle that works on kerosene? I don't think so. Uh, I know that uh, there are other processes that, like, I don't know if uh, people you still use Yajama Cobra. Oh, oh your China, like mm, uh, yeah. ah, oh, they, they use, they use uh, kerosene. Yeah. Okay, okay, mm. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and um, citizens are not happy, including the influential ones. We, we don't know what to do with the fuel thing. Uh, you recall during the opposition time, my good friend Aga in the HLM would always try to pretend to be Vasat and go Nakakunkubiti. No, to come with a few or if you are so you can see what's happening. It's 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 terrible. There was always an argument that there were middlemen during the procurement process, and they said they would fix this. What is it fixing? So the disappointment is across the board. Now you and I know that the moment you touch fuel, you touch any energy sector, electricity, fuel, etc., everything else goes up because the production costs for doing business go up automatically. You, you can't beat that. So for me, this is another punch, another stab. To be fair, he has a point. I think there was a promise of middlemen and how they would be removed. And now we're not hearing of the middlemen. Also, fuel is an essential thing. Once you increase transportation, everything else inevitably goes up. Like lives are just going to get hard people will always be irritated 
And yeah, that's kind of the state of things right now. Everyone is just, look at how you're looking at me. <laughs> Because mm. <laughs> I'm concentrating on what you're saying. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to say you're irritated. Yeah, um, but yeah, he has he has a point. I uh, think uh, what we were told is not very reflective in what we are seeing, because we believe that by now middlemen would have been removed. Who are the middlemen that they were talking about to begin mm, with? Mm. It's like you're being economical. I'm being economical. Yeah, like, you know, you're scratching the surface. Yeah? <laughs> no, not really. I'm just really trying yeah. to comment on exactly what he said oh, yeah, without adding on to it. Okay. Yeah, but, but what are your thoughts on middlemen? And mm. do you before, know the middlemen? Before the middlemen, at, uh, at HH, he used to pretend to be Wasata. What did he say? Yeah, he used to go nefkunkubiti. Nagakunkubiti. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to be fair, we saw yeah. some of these things. Mm. Particularly, I saw him manyamula to my Pamela and also... To cook in to 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 That's HH. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. all during uh, Edgar Lungu's yeah. presidency. Yeah. Yeah. They are actually. Okay. Pictures. To be honest, mm. ish, he gave ECL a hard time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now it teaches us a lesson that <laughs> yeah. uh, you know sometimes these politicians can be overly sensational. Yeah. Yeah. Just to yeah. make the other person look bad. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, and you're asking me about what uh, KBF said, and uh, you mentioned a good point about the middlemen and everything. Mm. HH himself gave us that, that formula that everyone knows where it is. Yes. We all saw that formula. Yeah. No, we have it somewhere here. We can put it up, but <laughs> for respect's sake. In fact, let's put it up. For, for, Kete, for Kete's sake. <laughs> I think let's put it up. <laughs> are you daring me? Are, are you daring me? <laughs> I dare you. <laughs> no, no, no. For Kete's sake. <laughs> yeah. So, and by the way, if you like what you see, uh, press that subscription button, subscribe button, notification bell, knock a like, so that a lot more people see this. Yeah. So... You know, HH presented a man who had solutions. Yeah. And, you know, it wasn't uh, mere rhetoric as uh, business as usual where politicians who come out and start saying, no, well, mm. he actually tried to reason with people who are reasonable. Give, so, give figures, yes, we look, yes, we looked at those numbers and mm. uh, we noticed to say, ah, but you know, it's actually viable. Yeah. Uh, and we, we saw that uh, it doesn't make sense to start saying no HH Takwataman when we are seeing the formulas. Yeah. That's why he put those formulas so that uh, we get where it's coming from. Mm. But now if he put a formula and say the fuel prices will be at 15 quarter or 13 quarter, and then now we are at 35 quarter. Yeah. It begs the question, what happened? Because the main thing in that uh, that kind of thing that he was drawing up, the main thing was that there were middlemen. And, and taxes, yeah. Yes. Mm. So what has happened? Why yeah. do we still have the middlemen? Because the fact is that we still have the middlemen. Yeah. Why do we still have them when you say, do you give us calculations? Did on the middlemen exist them? in the first place? Yes, of course. Who are the middlemen? Uh, so they are, So what can I say? So when we are purchasing fuel... Mm. We let's say we are purchasing it from Saudi Arabia. Yeah, uh, we cannot, as a government, have go and we, negotiate the deal. Yes. Okay. So we have people in between who are mm. going to negotiate on our behalf. They are actual businessmen. Yes, us will pay them. Yeah, and then they will go and procure the fuel. Mm. Yeah. Sounds a lot like Zimbabwe's gold situation, but yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, if he gave us, and you know, the the, the thing is that as citizens. Especially the, the the most ordinary citizens, they are not supposed to know about these things. Yeah. Yes. What they are only supposed to know is that the HH says you remove middlemen and you put the fuel at this price. Yeah, I think though it's okay for citizens to know. Maybe if we all get to that place of understanding these things, mm -hmm. even at the most basic level, mm -hmm. then we can do less blaming mm -hmm. and more working with the people in leadership. Mm -hmm. Except. Maybe the approach they've taken also is also always to shield us from what's really going on. Yeah. So what we are know what we know is the end product. But anyway, sorry, go on. Yeah. Anyway, I finished my point. And the other thing is that uh, it's not everyone who's got the capacity to understand these things. But yeah. they drive. Yeah. They do business. Yeah. But they just don't have the capacity, and that's why democracy entails that eh, we go out there and vote for leaders, not for ourselves. Oh yeah. So you wait for someone who gives you the. So if. You, if someone from Matteo just sees that formula and votes on that premise to say HH to reduce fuel because of this formula mm. and doesn't really understand the intricacies, there's no problem with that. Yeah. This is why those those leaders they put themselves up. Oh yeah. 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 Because yeah. the, the leaders should be 
the 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 competent representatives exactly. that speak for the people that may not fully yeah yes i, I agree yes that I we agree. are speaking like this and also trying to provide solutions it's actually more like a favor you know yeah yeah, yeah. because oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, because we are their bosses and they tell us it's funny because they tell us this when we go no, to you are bosses yes. hey, no they yes. do actually but now <laughs> this time it actually sounds like i'm i'm, I'm not in order to say they are hey, servants ah, boss bamanga eh <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so yeah, yeah that's very interesting yeah yeah mm. you know that's very funny actually they tell us we are their bosses mm-hmm. and then when you speak mm-hmm. you are put inside yes boss the other, yes it's the other way around. oh wow that's crazy yeah just give them what they want oh that's crazy yeah that's democracy 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 yeah yeah anyway and um as is our custom we are going to give you what mr cornelius said uh, mm-hmm. cornelius Mwetua said on the issues regarding um energy increase yeah. generally at various interludes within a given particular year. So, this particular month, ERB has announced an increase, and it will not be shocking that perhaps in another announcement, the next announcement, they may maintain the prices or may reduce the prices. Therefore, this particular adjustment is not novel. It is a response to the hike of the commodity on the international market as dictated by the oil producing countries the opec that is what is happening <laughs> I, i honestly enjoy listening to mr mwet <laughs> i think he's got funny pronunciations kind of there is mm. one that you imitated that i just loved last time okay like uh, you, you know he's got these I don't know. They they are like half notes. Yeah, yeah, really yeah, yeah. It's like he's a teacher or a head teacher. <laughs> yeah, waiting yeah. for you to finish. <laughs> yeah, my friend. <laughs> yeah, so oh you producing shansha. Eh, hey, the, the OPEC. OPEC. <laughs> In, Was he talking about in case you don't because know they are the telling OPEC us they are, mm. they are telling us that he's reacting to or mm. rather they are talking the headline here says Zambians react to mm. costly Zesco mm. tariffs mm. but he seems to be speaking about fuel Yeah, so I think they just played it in the same news item. Oh, or maybe it was yeah. l- a longer clip than we. Hmm? Maybe it was a longer clip. He, bought, he talked about both, maybe. Uh no, I do. I think that he was just talking about fuel. Ah, okay, okay, yeah. okay. Anyway, Mr. Motwa gives a rationale. You can almost see him struggle with it, trying to explain why <laughs> fuel is on the higher side. He doesn't really seem to understand it himself. He was shocked when he was going when he was going to the office. Ah. <laughs> feel, feel <creative. laughs> yeah. yeah but the jump was too much as well it was 31 to 35 is it feels like four months worth of increase mm-hmm. yeah yeah the jump was too steep mm. four months worth of increase on top of that they're increasing the tariffs of mm. uh, electricity by 10 percent we are not about to enjoy things <laughs> uh right now we currently at 14 way per uh per kilowatt mm. and then 2024 or rather right now we are at 44 way sorry per, per per kilowatt and next year we are uh supposed to go to 54 which is 10 way more and then the other year we we're supposed to go to 63 way and then 73 way so we have a about a three year increment plan pre-approved mm-hmm. uh yeah so this is something to look forward to mm. electricity will be high while scarce mm. and at the same time fuel will be high and if you try to go for uh kerosene because you are now using colloids and braziers brace yourself it's now expensive mm-hmm. on the other on the good side though apples are cheaper <laughs> yeah so what <laughs> so we can yeah, and i was just looking at those numbers they oh, they yeah. could actually be uh, com- a bit complicated yeah uh, they could be straightforward but for someone who's seen them just uh, from sleeping they could be complicated yeah because they there's there are segmentations here so it's not everyone who get the same increments yeah. as you can see Yeah. yeah so they they are those oh, it's it's consumption based actually exactly yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah so there's for the residential and also for the commercial so yeah. for the residential they've also segmented it same as the commercial 
Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, I guess you are talking about the first one because I think most of us fall into that. Yeah. I focus more on the residential because yeah, <laughs> yeah. actually commercial people are more, are, are more likely to afford electricity. Okay. than the residential yeah. because they have budgets for it and whatnot. Yeah, but even the commercial ones have budgets for it. And Re- then residential, it, you mean? No, the commercial ones. Yeah, the other ones I talked about. Okay, right? okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I thought you said residential. Uh, oh, uh-huh. then there's social service tariffs and... Uh-huh, yeah, but, exactly. Yeah, but but anyway, we, we focused more on the residential mm-hmm. and these are the metered ones also. Yeah, yeah. Not necessarily those that are uh, unmetered. And some people had... Uh, some business owners, small business owners had some complaints to make about the same issue. Uh, we have a video here of a barber man explaining just how business has become tough on the basis of not only power being scarce, but it being high as well. And then we have the issue of Zesco being inconsistent with the times that they tell us. Mm. So you may plan for 12 and then power goes at 11. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know whether there was a bit of a mistake there. They described him as a barber man, but what we can see there seems to be, or maybe he has a database. We can see him sitting on in front of what seems to be a computer. Maybe he has a database where he inputs uh, clients, what haircuts they usually come for and whatnot. Uh, yeah, but you can imagine how that process has been affected. He now has to invest in a UPS uh, as well as he has to invest in batteries for machines. So, yeah. Mm. Uh, business. yeah a, I think it's a good point that he mentions that I'm a light, I'm a lunda, but foot yare. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, I we have a lot of, okay. So, for for someone um, who might not know a lot of things, yeah, they might argue that, why I'm a lunda, I'm a light, but yare. Now, we should also uh, realize and remember that these were suggested by Zesco a long time ago. The increments? Yes. Or oh, way before load shedding? Yes, way before load shedding. Okay, okay. Yeah, because actually during the PF time, there was what we are calling uh, the cost of service study. Okay. And they said, because these increments actually, I think they come from way back, mm. even before the UPND came into power. Okay. Yeah, I'm just maintaining these political parties we've got because there is this tendency of a few of Alunda, Malaitia, Alunda. We're always blaming the party that's there, right? When in fact they were part of the Millennium Development Goals, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and of course it could be fair that we are blaming these people, but also uh, there are some things that we blame them unfairly. Yeah. I'm not saying we're blaming them unfairly on this one. Mm. On the tariffs, per se, the, the, the electricity tariffs, these ones were suggested a long time ago. Mm. And as you can see there, there's a shade job to 2027. Yeah. So not next year, we're talking about double foot. Mm. But in a shade, you know, we're going to come back here shocked. <laughs> That's what I'm right. <laughs> yeah, but you see, people will take you back to say, but Bertram, you actually caught this out. Yeah. You went up to 2027 in your No, in the your tendency talking. we have as Zambians we'll to forget. forget. Yeah, that's yeah. The, yeah. We we love to forget. Yeah. So yeah. you know, for for just uh, uh, any gym and jack, it doesn't make sense that Malaiti and then Malund. Mm. And then for the proponents of this price increase or this uh uh this hike in the tariffs, they say this is a good thing because they're even proponents to this. Of course. Some people are experts. Oh, okay. yeah, experts in invaded commas because yeah, they yeah, went to yeah. school. Oh, 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 that kind of expert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So they are saying uh, this thing is a good thing because it will attract more investment in a nutshell. What okay. it will do is that higher rates attract more people into the sector. Okay. So it will attract more investment into the sector such that this might be the solution to load shedding in the long run. Yeah. Because now more people will be attracted because of these attractive uh, Is Zesco really going tariffs. to be willing to allow another power company to come into the country? And operators, the way Zesco operates? Yeah. 
That is hard because I, you have I, already... I, mm-hmm. I just don't think that will... No, ever. but we've got independent power producers, a lot of them. Who sell through Zesco. Yes. Yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> you, you understand my point. Eh? I don't think Zesco will allow another company to come and sell power here. Didn't Dangote propose that some years back? Oh, so I don't know, but I've got no problem with uh, them uh, supplying electricity, like another person or another company supplying electricity through Zesco. Yeah. Yeah, it's still a good uh, investment for us, the end users. I think it's a good, it may be a good investment for the country. Mm -hmm. The problem is, do we trust the management of Zesco? Uh, Do we have an option? That's the thing. We should not be left with no option. Mm -hmm. (laughs) We should at least be given options so that those who don't trust the management Mm -hmm. choose another company rather than being left with one person. You know, it feels so bad where you feel like you are helpless. (laughs) Yeah, I understand you. And probably uh, speaking from experience. Yeah, but, from national uh, experience. Yeah, <laughs> but probably it's more complicated than we are making it seem. Yeah. Yeah, because th- there's already infrastructure that is up there. And for someone to come and do their own infrastructure, uh, there could be a bit of a problem. Yeah. That's why when someone comes, they have their own infrastructure. Uh, the way is to get through Zesco. That's if they are based on water, probably. No. That's what I'm assuming. No. But if someone comes in and they want to use wind energy to pro- So to, we've to got Mamba power. collieries. Yeah. That use coal. And okay. they and they, they 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 contribute about 300 megawatts. So what infrastructure would would they need to use? That's Zesco's the cables that leads the power into the houses. So that's the thing. Uh okay, of course distribution that's another thing. Yeah. Yeah. But the thing is that they don't really need to use Zesco. They use Zesco because of when I say infrastructure, I'm not talking about the only the, only the physical infrastructure. Yeah, I'm talking about the whole system. Okay, yeah. red tape. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, so they have to go through Zesco. We've got uh, is this CEC the copper belt? Mm. Yeah, and we've got a few actually small small uh, independent power producers mm. who supply through Zesco. Mm. Yeah, so I think if they attract more investors who are supplying through Zesco, it's not a bad thing. I know, I know you are saying that uh, it's good to have options where you don't have to go through Zesco. Yeah. You have your, your separate thing where that was Zesco, Oxygen Abuse, you can jump to the, the other. The biggest challenge I seem to have with Zesco is mm. just how politically influenced they, they have seemed to be over mm-hmm. the years. Mm-hmm. Um, mm. That's a big problem, by the it, way. It is a big problem mm-hmm. because it, it takes away objectivity. Mm-hmm. It also does not give us the confidence that there is no uh, political game being played in mm. how we are being deprived of power, mm. and okay, somehow, I I yeah, there's there's all this there's all this stuff. Mm. Uh, obviously, that many people wouldn't want us to talk about, but uh, but we want us. That to oh, no, no, no. <laughs> at Amazing Minds, we talk about it. Yes, <laughs> if there's a group that we can talk about, uh. we'll talk about them. <laughs> yeah, so uh, all these things make me feel like. Let's get a bit more civilized. We have countries in this earth that have four power sources. Mm. There are countries in this earth where they encourage people to use power. Guys, we have a power overload. Please mm. use power. Mm-hmm. Japan, mm-hmm. for example, they encourage are we people. in the earth or on earth? <laughs> did I say in earth? What did I say? In this earth. I said in this earth. Twice. Oh, really? I think it's context. Context. In okay. the earth would be the system of the earth. Ah, <laughs> Just look at me trying to contextualize what Bring I said. Bring it on, my friend. Bring uh, it <laughs> on earth. Thank you for that. Yeah. On. Mm. On. I guess if I wanted to say in, I should have said, I should have said, I should have said in this world. Because mm, in the earth, yeah. I'm Abraham's bosom. Oh, yeah, Catch Bible Talks will explain to you what Abraham's bosom is. Exactly, every Friday. Every Friday. Same place, same time. Exactly, exactly. So, uh, yeah, on the on, on, on this earth, in this world, mm-hmm. we have countries like Japan mm-hmm. who are encouraging their citizens to even use power mm-hmm. because they have multiple power sources. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. You know what I think? Being in a third world country like ours and knowing so much, yeah. like you... Uh, are portraying to know right now is a mm. problem. Yeah? Yeah, because you know too much. I mean, so there are a lot of mediocre things that are actually normal in this country. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because when the things that would country. actually be, people would say, yeah. uh, ah, you're overthinking things. 
Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. In PF, actually, it was in black and white that you have to align to patriotic front to to head or to be on the board of a parastate. Really? Yes. It was in their constitution. Huh. Not their constitution, their manifesto. Yeah? Yeah. All these things. This is why black we need white. independent power producers, mm. people who are objectively in this for business. Yeah. And interestingly, even though it's not black and white right now, it's yeah. still the same thing. You have yeah. to be affiliated somehow. I know we have parts. reported here on how they are chasing junkie cops <laughs> yeah, for not yeah, being aligned. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> we know how these things work. Yeah, exactly. Uh, in other news, our former first lady has come out to speak. Uh, <laughs> we shall dance to man's tune. Oh, yeah. We shall dance to man's tune. Uh, she is not happy and she maintains her family is innocence, even in the presence of many doubts. But yeah, she maintains that, no, my family did not steal anything. We're being heavily persecuted. God is watching. <laughs> Hear her for yourself. <laughs> We are going to dance to man's tune, Amen. but God at knows last. Amen. that That's there's the light at the end of the tunnel. Amen. They are not taking away their, our light. Uh, there's aging on, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's being <laughs> she's being encouraged. That's interesting. So in Kenya, we pay a fee. If you pack to have no stuff for feet, have no pork. Ah. So I pay a cost, man. Actually, I don't think I don't remember any time that she's come alone to court without Ed Galungo. That's exactly my surprise right now. Like, why is she there alone? Yeah. Now she's been meant to speak. Because mm. <laughs> if he was there, not too pain. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> yeah, but she's been made to speak, and uh, she maintains her innocence. God is watching. Our thoughts and prayers are with you, uh, uh, Mrs. Nungu. Not mine. My thoughts and prayers. Yeah, not mine. Thing. Are we, <laughs> my thoughts and prayers yeah. are with you, Mrs. Lungo. I really do hope God is watching. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know the problem with this is that. Uh, mm, so there are two things. It could be that. She's been persecuted. Mm. Uh, right now, we can't tell because the case is in court. Yeah. The second thing is that... Which is we, highly unlikely, but yeah. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> of course, which is highly unlikely. And you see, I don't, I didn't like these people. Yeah. And for Esther Lung, she was the first lady. So for her, it's, why, it's, it's not... I don't think it's... Why innocent. would I not like her? So I don't really have to like her or to not like her. But the fact that her husband was put in charge of this country... And he was substandard. His leadership was substandard. Yeah. I mean, and naturally, it, it makes me uh, not want anything to do with her. Yeah. Yeah. So, but they're in court. And uh, if she starts coming out and uh, starts uh, saying that why are we there? We're mm. innocent. Mm. That's a problem. Yeah. Because now she could be charged for contempt. What does every guilty person say? I That's why it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's not a great thing that she's uh, speaking out like this. And I know that probably this was like, you know, because sometimes you, have to, you, do, you didn't plan to say these things. Yeah. But then you see all these people and then some Have you ever realized that when people are showing you compassion, mm -hmm. it can yes, make yes. you almost... Yes. I remember one time in primary school... Uh, sometimes it makes you cry. Yeah, the, mm. the, the headmaster beat us up, me mm. and a friend of mine. Mm. And when I went to sit by my desk, I was strong, I didn't cry. Mm -hmm. But the girls, <laughs> I'm sorry... <laughs> Oh, I forgot about this. And the tears just started. Okay. Yeah. And the tears just started falling. As in, mama love you. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> you people love you lot. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, I'm sorry. And tears just started involuntarily. <laughs> Girls that were with me in that grade, mm. I hope you've forgotten. <laughs> 
Yeah. Yeah. So you know, they, 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 you know, sometimes as you are saying, mm-hmm. people are compassionate, and then you are just all over the place. I was actually you know? surprised you didn't break down. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So now, because <laughs> you've got a history, I'm appealing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. So. You know, if she's just speaking off the cuff, she needs people to tell her to say, no, when we're out of here, don't say anything. Yeah. Let's just go straight. You but won't remember lose guys, anything. But guys, uh, American movies who are like pushing the crowd, no questions, no questions. Uh, oh, but my bodyguard, Waripo, but I don't think that's also their job. Aye, bodyguards yeah, with, yeah, the, uh, with yeah. names like Wachanda. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm a fungache. Simple thing. Yeah. Of course, uh, she has bodyguards. Yeah. Probably she has one or two. Yeah, but what I'm talking about is Munduchi or Indoba was at your first lady panja, but you are pretty but now and my supervisors. So when you go out, just don't say anything. Yeah. It doesn't have to be anyone pushing anyone. No, we just go straight to the car. Keep quiet. Don't you agree? That that it would look cool. No press. No press. No questions. No questions. No pictures. No pictures. Yeah, it would look cool, but you it comes out with sunglasses with a Ah, it would look cool. Now. It would look cool to you and I, but uh, to some people maybe not. <laughs> Abuse of power, Shani. Uh, hey, yeah, mm. yeah. So, but you know, for me, I think that kwa uh, Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. means we have to pay man. Yeah, it's bad. Next week we might be reporting on four features. No, that was a joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's possible. It's, <laughs> yeah, possible. it's possible. Yeah, because yeah. we've seen it also in the past. You know, sent until proven that our suspicions are wrong. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but also Edgar Longo, almost his whole family. Yeah. Yeah. Dali Solungu, Chie Solungu, Tasila Lungu, Has Tasila Esther Lungu. I, I don't think Tasila. Not yet. No, I'm saying the ones who are facing Oh, who have faced. Uh, yeah. Does he have any other children apart from those? Uh, probably we'll hear of them when they have they their will, own cases. They will come up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you, let me pick your mind. Do you think that they are trying to get to Edgar Lungu or this is, is, this is a uh, sort of a, a fight against Edgar Lungu? Uh, in my view, they are trying to be diplomatic about the approach towards hammering what they suspect he benefited from his position. Mm. So instead of really going directly for him, mm. you just kind of deplete his reserves. Because obviously he won't keep everything to himself. Anyway, mm. this is pure speculation. Mm. If ever you come back to power, we'll delete this. So <laughs> yeah, uh, he, he wouldn't keep everything. He would probably distribute it to different people mm. uh, that would keep it for him for a while. And mm. I think this is the case that the first lady had with that 400,000. Mm. Yeah, so in my view, they are depleting his reserves. So is, that he... are they? Do you think these are legitimate reserves or not? That's hard to tell. Now that Excuse calls me. for, uh, what do you call this? Defamation. Yeah. <laughs> no, but uh, anyway... Yeah. yeah, let's not get there. Yeah, let's not get there. Uh, yeah, right. right now they are like roaring lions. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I'm just thinking that uh, if this is a crusade against Ed Galungu, then they are doing it wrong. Yeah. Because what this does, first of all, is that it makes everyone start to think. Because there are a lot of people who, they, they, they could be a lot of genuineness in the, the pursuant of these cases. But it could also be that uh, they are just persecuting. Yeah. It could be that, of course, these people don't have the the proper paper trail yeah. to show the people how they made that money or how they, they acquired those assets. But it could, it could also be that uh, the the way that, that the state is pushing it. Because also the DPP has been very instrumental, by the way. Okay. It's, all, it's almost like he's acting on behalf of UPND. Yeah? Yeah. And also, it's not surprising because Gilbert Peer was HH's personal lawyer at some point. Ah. And now he's a DPP. Is he one of those Which is quite dangerous. When? There were some lawyers that walked out, right? When? Uh, D- petition for, uh, for a recount? On oh, no, no. I can't remember if he was one of them, but I think he was one of the, the people on the legal team. Okay. Yeah, because I, we remember Keith Mwemba, all of us. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, anyway, what I want to say is that... Uh, it could also be that uh, this is persecution and the way they are doing it, they are doing it wrong because people, he will gain people's sympathy. Yeah. Edgar Lung. Yeah. There are a lot of people who are thinking, ah, and you know, because of the harsh conditions that the economic conditions that we're going through, there are a lot of people who are thinking that, ah, I think we are better off with Edgar Lung. Yeah. Because, you know, for, for someone, for, for, for someone who doesn't want to be critical, they can think, oh, Ungate is a good up at 150. Yeah. Up at 
ah lungo alibet fio de gola pa zingati 17 kwa hapa ilipa ah lungo alibet unga tezo gola pa zingati o malai tezo gola pa zingati forget in also the what we've mentioned that partly is a pf who studied this cost of savings and they did all these tariffs yeah yeah so if they are doing it because they want to fix someone then what they are doing actually is the opposite in the minds of they the They might Zambians. actually be, be helping him somehow. Yeah, to be more popular. Yeah, gain sympathy plus everyone feels like, oh, his party was stolen from him. Yeah. And, you know, like everyone is... Mone, yeah, like, wafi, yeah, yeah, wafi, yeah, 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 Politicians will thrive on this, ka? Yeah. Yeah. Although yeah, we, we might not, we might be surprised. We might not be surprised if the next slogan is "Bare Michush." But vote Edgar Chagualungu. Bare Michush. Yeah, that was a good show. What do you think? Yeah, I think it was a good show. Was a good show. Uh, I think that we've done it faster than we should have done it. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Anyway, I just wish we had, we had more time. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we are always glad to have you guys here. Uh, again, please do subscribe, hit that bell, and share. We are so excited to have your engagement on the channel. Let us know what you think about the show and what you thought about today's show. Also, tell us whether Valeba <laughs> Chush. <laughs> One day I'll do a shout out to my girlfriend, that person. Yeah. No, no, I dare you. My, if you're watching, uh -huh. my girlfriend. Uh huh. Press that subscribe. I know, I know you're watching. Uh huh. I mean, because we're in a long distance today. <laughs> uh, TMI, TMI, oh, TMI. <laughs> Can you rub that? Uh, TMI, TMI. <laughs> so we need to see each other time and again. So I know you're watching. Yeah. Press that subscription button. Uh, share it. Do do we can we say subscription or just subscribe button? Mm, um, either, either. Press time. that subscribe button, my girlfriend. Mm. I know you're watching. Hmm. Uh, dare me to say your name. Not mm, this mm, guy is mm, daring me, relax. but now I'm daring ah, you. In relax. the comment section, dare me to say your name. <laughs> so what you need to do is subscribe. Fact, I dare you to type your name. <laughs> oh, just to comment, okay. Oh yeah, then they will see your name. Just yes. say darling. <laughs> what do you guys call each other? Darling. <laughs> mm, darling, <laughs> We call each other dear. Dear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So babe, just uh, show the people that we're in a relationship, huh? Just say yes. Uh, <laughs> But anyway, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, we have come to the end of the show. It was a privilege and a pleasure. And we'll see you on the next one. Juice. Hey, like what you see? I know you do. Hit the button below to subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Ciao.